I bring quite a large uh, range of experience to the House because I, unusually I've been a, a clerk in the House of Commons. I then actually was one of the advisors to the leader of the opposition in the 1980s, Lord Kinnock. I've also uh, started and run a voluntary organization uh, for children uh, out of school. And since 2000, uh, I came into the House of Lords. I've been a minister over a period of seven years, and I'm now chair of English Heritage. All that means I bring a large uh, range of information and experience to the House of Lords. The House of Lords is such an important part of our constitution and parliamentary process. Many people don't know, for example, that we tend to work longer hours in the House of Commons, we have greater diversity in the House of Commons, and we have a whole range of ways of articulating public interests as well as challenging the governments. I would love more people to come and see the House of Lords at work. Well, I thought I knew a bit about the House of Lords, having worked, as it were, in Parliament. When I got to the House of Lords, I was astonished by the quality of the debate on serious issues like stem cell research, for example, but also the way in which ministers had to work so hard in the House of Lords to defend their policies and to accommodate the different experiences and expertise in the House of Lords, which was reflected in the legislation that was passed.